This video is going to be a look at Kevon Seymour and Daryl Worley's play, particularly on special teams, obviously, and the Ravens' 10-9 win over the Broncos in Week 13. Yes, I'm, I want to highlight special teams play. Um, I know that it's not sexy like offense to certain people, but, man, I'm going to tell you something. Like the opening kickoff of a football game, every I don't care who you're playing, your, your skin is always on fire. You're always you know, hoping to set the tone. You know, that was our phrase always, like set the tone immediately from the jump, set the tone and let them know that, you know, we're going to, we're coming here to hit them and we're coming here to be physical. And you do that with the opening kickoff. Now the opening kickoff here is going to be a tackle by Daryl Worley, but the big one, the one that garnered most of our attention, I think was probably Seymour on the kickoff with like 28 seconds left, allowed the Ravens to run, allowed five seconds to run off the clock. Apparently that was accidental and that was not intentional, which is kind of amazing. I believe it though. You know, that's the way football is. And I just want to point out these guys play, the effort that they're showing, and what they're giving the Ravens in terms of field position, you know, when the ball is not kicked into the end zone or when punts are not, you know, down inside the 10. These guys are making plays. I think one of them even downed a punt um, inside the 10, but I could be wrong. I don't exactly remember it. I looked for it today, this morning, and couldn't find it. So with that being said, let's get to the film. I think there's going to be uh, five special teams plays here. This first one is, is the opening kickoff. And Worley is the one on the left, so the kicker's left. I understand that, you know, where Tucker's lined up, but he's the one on the left hash, meaning this is the left hash and this is the right hash. Some guys who want to get into the scrum and they get in the middle of this and they can they see the picture and they can navigate it because they just go. And Worley looks like one of them. Here he is right here. You can see that they've they've tried to set up this little umbrella with a, a second, you know, level guy to pick up anyone who's not uh, taken care of, and for somehow Worley gets through there, squeezes through two guys, brutally, you know, physical tackle on the 17 yard line, great punctuation, you know, to open the game, really sets the tone. If you ask me, end zone angle, there's Worley. Just a side note, the other guy we'll be highlighting here on this first kickoff, Kevon Seymour, he's the four. The way the Ravens do it, the four is the guy who's got to force the ball inside, try to force the ball, keep it inside from getting to the sideline. And then the Ravens five is the safety who kind of gears down and tries to make the tackle inside of that force player or, God forbid, if the ball gets outside the force player. So as we get down here, you'll see what I mean. Tavon Young is, is – Tavon Young, my goodness. Kevon Seymour is still moving towards the football, and you can see our Darius Washington has geared down here, but Daryl Worley has not. Worley makes the tackle on the 17. Amazing start to the game, um, if you ask me. Super excited as he should be. I mean, you're making tackles in the NFL on a kickoff. All right, there's Worley as the one on the left. And now the Ravens have moved Seymour over to be the one on the right. They've stacked them next to each other. I'll show you a reason later, uh, possibly why I think they did that. Now I think we've got Benjamin Victor up here as the four. So he's basically taken Seymour's spot. There might have been an injury with the one on the right. It's not related to Kyle Hamilton because Kyle Hamilton's still on the field. And again, Worley's able to navigate in the middle of all that scrum and make the tackle. I'll pause it here in a moment so you can see where he is. So there's Worley coming down. He's got at least one, maybe a second guy. It's a different style kickoff return. I think they're – I thought initially when I saw this that they were trying to get him to wind this back because it looks like you have guys trying to create a, a secondary wall here. Worley is able to navigate it. I mean, he does bring it back. I drew the line on the wrong person there, sorry. He does kind of start to bring this back, and Worley's able to scoot past a blocker and not allow him to get to that wall. He's able to get to that wall. Justice Hill's not able to make the tackle. They've got a decent shot at a, at a seam there. All right, end zone angle, same kickoff. There's Worley. Justice Hill is just a – he's another dog. I mean, I don't use dog the way that other people do. Like our – one of our players' positional names was D-A-U-G, -D dog, and that's what Justice Hill is. Seymour and Worley cut from the same cloth. He's going to come down here and then avoid this way. Not avoid, you know, away from the ball. You also see that our Darius Washington and Victor are right there to force him. So they're they're trying a different scheme, I think, where they being the Broncos, where they're trying to take guys this way. And luckily, I shouldn't say luckily, fortunately, Worley's able to scoot through there 
and not allow that that tight end to get to the uh, to get to that seam they were trying to create. He did have a couple of short kicks, I thought. All right, a punt. Seymour down here is one on one. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know you got a, a frame in the way a little bit. Um, up top, I think Justice Hill is there, and he's being double teamed. When you have Hill and Seymour, like who do you single team? Because Seymour is out. This is an easy win for him. I shouldn't say easy. It's it's a clear win for him. He's beat the ball to the 50, let alone the defender. Makes a tackle for no return at all. It's an asset to be able to have these guys who are willing to go out there and put it on the line physically. You know, they're trying to they're trying to carve out a career in the NFL, right? All right, there's Seymour, the one. I think this is the kickoff in the fourth quarter. So we've scored to make it 10-9, 28 seconds left. And uh, I thought this was intentional at first, but apparently it was not. See the ball's caught on like the three. I'll show you the end zone angle. Physical, man. These guys are committed. It's not just Seymour and Worley. Kyle Hamilton's there. He's the four. So Kyle Hamilton's the four on the right side. He's here to, you know, try to force the ball inside, not, not let the ball carrier get to the sideline. There's Seymour and Worley. And when you get the end zone angle, I'll show you what I think they did to make this happen. Kind of kind of unique. And I think I think it looks planned. Two very smart guys. Who are, you know, special teams coordinator, obviously, I'm sure, is responsible for some of the scheme. But these guys are the ones who can go out there and execute it uh, with the timing. So there is Seymour. And there is Worley. Watch what happens when they get down to about this area here. It's a middle kickoff that apparently Justin Tucker uh, mishit. All right, so as it's caught, so let's talk about what you don't want to happen. And I've seen this happen before. What you don't want to happen is your ones, because they're the ones. Make a mark, pull this back. They're the ones. The, the count, all right, I'll only do it on one side. Starts from inside out. So when I say Hamilton's the four, that's this guy right here, right? And then the five is the guy closest to the sideline. So you count opposite the way you count receivers on defense. Number one starts, you know, from the sideline. What you don't want for your ones, we'll let this run again and pause so I can explain it down here. What you don't want is like, God forbid, they avoid in different directions. So if they avoid in the same direction, at least you've got some consistency, some some alignment. If you Avoid in different directions. I mean, you can see what you open up. You open up the middle of the middle of the field return. I have seen that happen before. Watch what they do. They cross it. Now, I don't know if anyone asked them about that. I don't know if any reporters, you know, even got to see this angle. Obviously, you know, so they may not have ha even had the opportunity to ask something like that. I'm pretty intrigued. You would normally say avoid to the ball. So, like, avoid to the side of the ball. And then 21 Stevens, you know, would avoid his guy to the ball. But again, it looks like the Broncos are trying to set up a wall on this backside. You can see double teams here and here. So I think they're trying to take this back to this side, which is where the force player becomes really important. Hamilton's got to force it inside. So he's got to make the ball go into this seam area here, and then someone's got to win. So it's a cool design by the Broncos in that they're catching it on the right hash, but it's designed to move behind this wall, you know, and then inside of this kickout block on, on Hamilton. Hamilton's here. So this, it's like fullback, upback would be, he's responsible for kicking Hamilton out. But he passes him up. He passes him up to move up to the next guy, and the real kick out is coming from the second guy. But what Worley and Seymour have done, they're not aware of you know all that that I just described, just described for the last like minute and a half. What they've done by Xing it is they've defeated the scheme from the inside out. This second fullback who looks like he's being lazy, he's not. He's trying to time up his block on Hamilton. He's got no awareness that these guys have crossed it. And Seymour, with his unbelievable effort, 
and Worley, who somehow is able to stay on his feet after getting chucked. Watch him stay on his feet. Full speed run, stays on his feet. Huge contact with the returner. Amazing play, man. That was a great moment. Fortunate for the Ravens that we got, you know, five seconds run off the clock. I understand that it was not not the design of the play, but I think their execution and their hustle is um, – hustle is unpredictable. I stole that saying from someone. If he's listening, he'll, uh, he'll let me know. Hustle is unpredictable. And when you hustle on kickoff and, and punt – and I'm not just talking about hustle. I mean, like, out-of-control hustle, willing to throw yourself around to the point where you damn near get hurt. By, by how violent some of the collisions are. That's the type of hustle, if you ask me, that creates turnovers. We haven't got one yet, a kickoff or a punt that I'm aware of, but these two guys bring that kind of effort, along with Justice Hill and others. I wanted to highlight them just to show respect to the effort that they're putting out there and the performance. It's not just the effort. You know, they're producing big plays, they're producing results. And I think they're worthy of our respect, even if they don't get a snap on defense. Let me know what you think on my breakdown, what you think of their play. And if you think I missed any elements um, in this video, let me know in the comment section.